Hello my dear students, I'm Ifa and today I'm going to discuss about some heat and mass transfer during baking. We, uh, I also going to show you different types of machines actually that are used in baking industries. Okay, so in our last class we already know about that how heat actually transfer during baking. For example, how heat transfer during conduction, convection, radiation. Now we will just show a figure that how this actually happened within the oven. So let's start it. So uh, you can show this is a figure and here uh, you can easily show how the uh, product and oven are working there. So that is your oven. Actually this shape is an oven and that is your product. You can think about bread or cake, anything, okay? And you can uh, just check something there. That is that is a battery product. That is I already mentioned. And that is the physical contact with the oven. Or you can say that is a tray of the oven. Okay. And here some uh, our three methods that we already know that also use there. So that is our uh, radiation, that convection and conduction. So how it actually happened there. Whenever your oven is started, then from the oven bulb, the radiator just give the radiation or uh, it uh, just transfer the radiative and radiant or radiative energy within the oven, which transfer into thermal energy. Okay, and in this way, radiation work within the oven. And after that, the air that is presented within the oven with that heat, hot temperature, this air will be heated. And in this way, your convection method will be started. That is, air will be go through with the product. Okay, on surface of the product, within the product, hot air will go and out. Okay, it's up and down, it's happened. And we know uh, during convection, the particles are moved. So air particles will move within the product. So by this way, convection will also work during baking of the product. And then our third one is conduction. And as we use tray and a molder within the oven, so here this is the touching point. As we know in conduction method, that it will be direct contact. So our baking product is directly attached with this oven or with this tray. Or we can also say that is a physical contact. So within these three methods, actually our baking product will be baked. With it, there is one point that is mass transfer. So sorry, what is mass transfer actually? Mass means whenever you give this product there, there will uh, there are lots of uh, ingredient there, and whenever uh, it just baked this uh, mass will be lighter, okay? Or your mass will be lighter than before. For example, whenever water will be evaporated here, okay, water will be evaporated from your product, we can say that mass is transferred from your product, okay? And by this injection and extraction, it's mentioned that the air is ejected and then extracted from the oven. You can also say, uh, that the air is moving and go and uh, go outside within the oven. Okay. So it is that uh, this slide right there. Figure one shows heat and mass transfer phenomena encountered during baking. It is transferred by radiation from the oven walls to the product surface by convection from the heating media that is hot air and moisture, and by conduction from the surface of the carrier to the product geometrical center. At the same time, moisture diffuses outward to the baking product. That is, I mentioned that is water. Okay, that means with your heat, mass is also transferred from your product at the uh, shape of your evaporation, or you can also say the moisture diffuses. That means your mass is, mass is transferred from your product to outside. And that was actually our class on radiation, convection, and conduction, how it happened there. Uh, now we will learn about some machines that is actually 
very much important for you for uh, set up a bakery as from our next class we will start our product that is cake bread and biscuit or chocolates it will be started from the next class before starting that we have to know that how we can set a back, uh, baking industry with the help of different kinds of machines or how different kinds of machines are used in baking so uh, you can divide it in four part that is one is make sure that before preparing uh, the product you mix that that means you have a principle of baking just like that that is mixer then your molder or forming then baking and then last one is packaging so in first of all that is mixture how many types of mixture actually used in baking you can check there that is two kinds of mixture okay one is a spiral mixture and one is planetary mixture here what happened there in case of planetary mixture actually mainly this uh, uh, this equipment is attached there okay you can check there there are different kinds of spiral you can move from the machines and you use this kinds of material there okay so whenever you just buy this kind of one mixture with that uh, three kinds of uh, uh, parts you also get there that is one for your cake or uh, your biscuit and cookies another this uh, this spiral mix is mainly used for your bread and this uh, parts also used for cakes and your bread so there is uh, uh, different kinds of mixture that is used these two is just uh, among them these two are mostly used in baking then in case of uh, biscuit and cookies another kinds of mixture is used it is called horizontal mixture okay that means now your product will be mixed horizontally it was a vertical mixture okay it was a vertical mixture and it is a horizontal mixture after that that now our we can use this kinds of mixture actually now we will start the molder okay how many molder actually used in case of cake biscuit or cookies uh, there is two kinds of molder there that is uh, one kinds of molder without that lots of molder used in uh, preparing cookies that is from these nozzles this is called nozzles from these nozzles in upper side we just pour the mixture and from the nozzles their shape is given there okay after that the tray is go to the oven and that is a actually a uh, cake uh, shape giving machines with that kinds of machine cakes uh, can be shaped then another kinds of machine that is uh, bread shaping machines um, actually the shaping breads or automatic machines are very much larger units okay from production to distribution is automatically go from a with a larger area here just given a part of that these kinds of machines are also used in kind of preparing bread then uh, we are now uh, go to the part of the oven so these ovens is ma mainly used that is called the rotary oven this kinds of oven is also present in our armor food okay this kinds of oven whenever it started that it will be rotated okay inside the oven this tray will be rotated so it is called rotary oven this kinds of oven used for all purposes but it's mostly used for uh, bread or you can also say for cakes and buns is also used and another you another kind of oven that is uh, called this oven is called a prism oven you can also say that that is a tunnel oven uh, normally in baking industry it's called the tunnel oven okay these kinds of oven are mostly used or mainly used for preparing different types of cookies and biscuits and then that is our electric oven these kinds of ovens are mainly used for preparation of cakes and now the packaging side how you can pack your product in case of biscuits these kinds of machines are used for packaging and in case of bread mostly these machines are used for bread packaging then uh, another kinds of uh, packagings are used in case of cakes mostly uh, these kinds of machines are used for preparation of or packaging of cake and our uh, next part is actually about chocolates 
so in case of preparing chocolate first of all you have to roast your cocoa beans so there is a roasting machine of cocoa okay these kinds of machines are normally used for roasting of cocoa beans and then our second part is extractor machines here actually after grinding that here cocoa paste is prepared for preparation of chocolate and so it's called the extractor which transfer the cocoa powder into paste and is these machines also used directly by crushing the cocoa bean to paste and that last one is our chocolate making machines and then our chocolate packaging machine these is that this is a one types of molder machines and these molder machines are used mainly for giving different kinds of shapes of chocolates and then it's uh, a cooling machines whenever chocolate come from the, it's like a tunnel oven but here it's not the oven it's called the cooler okay whenever chocolate go through this machine from this side to this side uh, in the meantime the chocolate is just frozen okay and it's uh, harder than the liquid side liquid form so it's it's a cooler or you can say it's a freezer then our chocolate packaging machines and for chocolate packaging machines we use these types of machines and now we are going to just watch a short video on different kinds of machines that we needed okay for our uh, there are different kinds of machines that uh, actually needed uh, for preparing our uh, different kinds of products
so that's for today and we'll discuss more in our discussion class wish all of you watch the video and you have to read that actually for more know about the different kinds of missions so see you tomorrow love is